everyone here today we're working on the Meyer E47 plow pump um, doing the breakdown and rebuilding replacing some of the seals so I had to spin this off and make a separate video for cleaning up the cylinder here so this is the cylinder for the lift ram based on the symptoms that it had I believe that the packing cup in this lift cylinder was what was messed up so when I was thinking turn this down um, this is pretty pretty ugly on the outside but there's a little bit of corrosion some discoloration and some funkiness on the inside for lack of a better word so that's what we're going to cover in this video, getting this thing cleaned up. So I'll go ahead and um, this will be the first time I'm ever doing this. So you'll be going along for the ride with me. So good or bad. Yeah, so hopefully it'll be a success and we can uh, share the technique and good news. And if it is not a success, I'll share that as well. So no one else goes down the same path. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. So that way you get notified and you can follow along as I get these videos uh, wrapped up and published. Yeah, so there we go. That's hopefully good. You can see that on the camera. Um, so that doesn't look too awfully pitted, uh, but you can definitely see the, uh, the rust corrosion uh, built up in there. That's closer to the top on that end. Here's near, near the bottom. You can see there's some uh, funkiness going on there, some some sort of corrosion. So what we're going to do is we're going to wipe down the outside of this, get everything cleaned up a little bit here. And then the way I'm going to try to uh, take care of this is I went ahead and picked up a uh, adjustable brake cylinder hone. So, you know, this is just a... You know, inexpensive. Uh, I picked this up at any auto parts store. This one came with uh, two twenty grit pads. I thought that was a little rough. So actually, I did the uh, store I picked those. I didn't have them, but uh, so I also picked up a set of um, finer. These are three hundred and twenty grit stones. So I'm going to go ahead and use the three twenty just because this is a hydraulic cylinder, and I just would rather err on the side of caution um, with cleaning that up. We're using the the and use the finer grit. So I installed those 320 on there. That's them. So this cylinder is looks like 175, one and three quarter bore. So this brake cylinder hone will be good because that covers up to two and a quarter. So we'll be good with that. All right, so for honing oil, I'm actually just gonna use, um, I have a bottle of this uh, hair clipper blade oil from wall. So I figured that should do the job for a nice lightweight oil since I don't have that for, since I don't have proper honing oil. I'm just gonna put some of that on each of these stones. And I also have the pressure set pretty much as light as you go on this. Uh, start as gentle as possible and minimize any damage. We can increase the pressure if needed. Okay, so we definitely removed some of the corrosion material. So let's get some more oil on there and keep going with this. Hopefully I'm not screwing it up, but we'll find out. Definitely getting there. Um, it's a lot cleaner than it was. So I'm beginning to think that I probably should have just left the medium grit stones that were on there. It's probably they sold them on there for a reason. Maybe that's uh, you know, sounded aggressive to me, but totally normal for for cleaning out that type of corrosion. see that it looks a heck of a lot nicer than it did before there's still some little bit of pitting a little bit of corrosion yeah so i'm just gonna stop here call it this we'll see how it works um but as time goes by i'll, I'll report back see how this thing's holding up um, i could probably just keep going and get more out but i think that's pretty good especially considering where i started so i'm going to toss this into the parts washer and get it running
All right, well, there's the boar. About as cleaned up as it's going to get. I think I had visions of this thing coming out, you know, perfectly clean, looking like a new cylinder, but don't think we're going to get there without removing an excessive amount of material. So, so I'm going to go ahead, reassemble it like this. Make sure you uh, hit the subscribe button down there so that way you can uh, get notified when I get the rest of the videos put together. If you're working on one of these and you have a better way of cleaning up anything that's inside of there, uh, why don't you post a comment below and definitely like to hear from you and see whatever uh, methods that you may have. And I'll put a note down in the comment or the description uh, to update how this thing is holding up. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Take care.